Hey Slime Squad, today I'm gonna to be testing 10 no glue slimes, some of which I've never even tried before. And oh yeah, some of these are even one ingredient. Let's get started. For this first slime, the recipe says to add some toothpaste. And I chose Crest because that is what's worked for me in the past. And then you're supposed to add paint. And I chose this lovely shade of blue because um, look at me, I am all blue right now. I'm loving the color blue, but you can pick whatever you want. And once it's done, you're supposed to mix it up. So I mix it up. At first, it looks like it might come together, but I soon realized it's not. So I tried stirring a little bit faster. Maybe that would work. And it, it did not work, guys. So this is a really, really sticky mess. It's not even slime. It's so, so sticky. So I would call this one a fail. Okay, so I'm not ready to give up on that slime. I'm gonna try again. So this time, I decided to try it with some puppy paint instead of the acrylic paint. Maybe that has something to do with it. Maybe that makes a difference. So I added my toothpaste, and then I put in some puffy paint, and I stir, just like I did before. And it looks again like it might come together, but it, it, I think it even worked worse. I don't think this is any better. So yeah, this is a definite fail, guys. Next, I'm making slime with a kneaded eraser. Now, both of these have worked. I tried them. Um, you can use either one, but I just like the general brand because it's a lot softer. The struggle was real trying to get this package open. I mean, I tried everything and I couldn't find any scissors, so I just grabbed a knife, split it open. But be careful if you're messing with knives, of course. So I finally got it open and I stretched it. And did I mention that this is a one ingredient slime? Look how stretchy this stuff is. It's amazing. And you can even make an elephant out of it. It's kind of like clay. It's pretty cool. Now this kneading eraser is actually pretty soft anyway, but I just stretched it to make it even more soft and malleable. And then I'm going to add some hollow. We have to add some hollow glitter to this to make it really, really pretty. I chose hollow glitter, but if you don't have any, that is okay. But you do want to use the fine glitter of your choice and maybe this um, medium, I guess it is. It's medium. No, the medium, um, not the large and chunky because it would just fall out then. So after you get done adding your glitter, you are going to fold it in. I love this eraser slime because it's it's fancy because you have all the hollow glitter and it's, yeah, it's so easy. And when you get done playing with it, you can mold it into whatever shape you want, stick it in your book bag and use it at school. Up next is egg slime. I'm going to actually make two recipes right now. One is egg white, which the idea was given to me by Lindsay Matsubayashi on Instagram. And the other is just using the egg yolk. So in her recipe, she says you're to add the egg white, then you add in some dish soap. She said green, I have pink, so that's what I'm gonna to add to both of these. So I'm gonna start with my egg yolk and I'm gonna mix it up and see if it can go ahead and start forming. And it doesn't seem like it's coming together, but these are gonna go in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes. So yeah, it's still not forming, guys. And, uh, and you know, always when you're working with eggs, be sure to wash your hands when you get done with them. Yeah, it's just a yolky mess, really. This one, I don't know about this. We'll have to see what it does after it's been in a refrigerator. All right, let's try out Lindsay's recipe that she gave me. So I'm just, I'm just mixing it, guys, and it, it it starts forming. I don't know if you can see how it's starting to pull on the sides of the bowl. This is actually working already, and it's not even in the freezer or the refrigerator. I'm sorry. This, wow, look at that. It's it's got the spring. It's, it's just like slime. This this is slime. But I'm also going to go ahead and go put it in the freezer for about 30 minutes, and we'll see what it turns into there. I haven't made it to the freezer yet, but I wanted to show you again how stretchy this already is. Like, my mind is blown. This is an amazing recipe. Thank you, Lindsay, so much for sharing on our Instagram. I really do appreciate it. This is such a cool slime. Look at this. 
It's just, I mean, this is slime and it's not even, I haven't even finished the recipe yet. It's amazing. After about 30 minutes in the refrigerator, here is the egg yolk slime. It's very, I don't know, it's very gross. It's got little chunks in it. It, no, it's a fail. This is not slime at all. Here is the egg white slime after about 30 minutes in the refrigerator. It looks just like clear slime with some bubbles. You can poke it, you can stretch it. I love it. Make sure you wash your hands after playing with this one. Um, and it, after a while of playing with it, you do need to stick it back in the refrigerator because it did get a little sticky. The next recipe we are gonna do is no glue butter slime. This is absolutely one of the easiest no glue butter slime recipes out there. So you need some clay. Um, you can use Daisy clay. I'm using Crayola Model Magic clay. Um, and again, I can't get the packages open and I can't find my scissors, so I'm using a knife. So you can use colors. I have two whites, one blue, because I wanted some blue. Um, and if you don't have colors, you can use food coloring, um, you can use some paint, and this, just start mixing it in. Does anyone else like blending their uh, clay? I mean, I love watching clay being blended. So once you got it blended as much as you want, you're going to make like a little bowl, and you're going to put your shaving cream inside that. And yes, this, it's going to get a little messy, guys. It's going to get a little messy, but the results are going to be so worth it. So you want to continue blending in your shaving cream and your clay together until you get a butter slime consistency. See, if you need to add more shaving cream, then do so. Your butter slime should start stretching like this. This is the perfect consistency, and it has those nice, beautiful ridges. What would be slime without some sparkle? You know I love glitter, so I had to add it. I always do. And look at how cute these are. I've never seen little stars like this. So let's spread it. Ah, look at that texture. It's just, it's so smooth and soft. I love this slime. All right, let's do some chewing gum slime. Now I picked this one because I love the smell. It's mint chocolate chip. Have y'all ever had this, this gum? Oh my gosh, guys, I've never had this before. So I'm gonna take out, if I can, I'm gonna take out three pieces of this gum. I mean, you could do more gum if you want. I'm just doing three because I don't want a huge slime, but hey, if you want to use the whole pack, go right ahead, be my guest. After you've unwrapped your gum, you're gonna add in some warm water. Not too hot because you don't wanna burn yourself. That would be crazy. So the recipe says, let it sit for a bit. Let it sit for a bit, let it, okay. Let it sit for a bit and you're basically getting the sugars out of it. You stretch and then you dip it more and you stretch again. It has stretched and it has become cool looking slime. Look at that. That's so awesome. The next recipe that I'm going to be testing is fluffy no glue slime. So the recipe says to fill up your water bottle, I mean maybe a tablespoon at the bottom, and then add in some baking soda toothpaste. Once you've added your toothpaste, secure the top of your bottle and begin to shake. Now you're shaking it because you want those bubbles, you want the foam, because that's what's gonna make your slime fluffy. Set your bottle to the side, we're gonna get back to that, but for now you need a bowl and you need some peel off face mask. You don't have to have the tube, but you do have to have peel off face mask, and you can add as little or as much as you want of this. Now's the time to add color. If you want to add color, I, I chose to. It's totally optional. I love watching color swirl into clear. It's so beautiful. 
Once you're done adding color, you want to shake that bottle one more time. Give it one more good shake and then try just to add the foam. You want to get all of it out. I mean, I actually crushed my bottle because I'm like, I'm getting all this foam out because the more foam you get in there, the fluffy your slime will be. Once you're done adding your foam, begin to mix it in. Is anybody else thinking, mmm, this looks like lemon custard? Once all of your ingredients are mixed in well, you're going to add in your contact lens solution. And look at this, guys. It instantly is starting to come together. This is so cool. It is a little fluffy, no glue slime. Done. Now, it is not as fluffy as a regular fluffy slime where you use shaving cream, but I would definitely consider it fluffy. You know what this slime needs? Yes, it needs glitter. I love some glitter. This turned out to be a really good slime. It's got nice little pokes. It stretches so well. And it has nice soft little pops. It's a great slime. Next, we're gonna be testing mozzarella. We're gonna make that into slime. Or are we? Let's, let's test it and see, can we make slime with mozzarella cheese? I mean, that would be crazy, right? So the recipe says to take some mozzarella shreds and put it in a bowl, and then over that, we are supposed to put warm water. And then you're supposed to use your hands, yes, your hands, and kind of mix it together. I actually had to add more warm water to my pre-existing water just because my water would get cold. But look how it's starting to stretch. This is amazing. Once your slime, or actually once your mozzarella slime has the slime consistency, you can add color if you'd like to. I chose to make mine a pink and I dyed it with food coloring just in case I wanted to eat my slime. No one would ever know that this was cheese. Look how it stretches just like regular slime, except this one's edible. For this next no glue slime, you're going to need a bowl and some three in one shampoo. So I'm gonna put in two tablespoons of three-in-one shampoo. And then after that, I'm going to add in one tablespoon of regular shampoo. It could be any kind. If you don't have regular shampoo, you could also use body wash. After you do that, you need three tablespoons of shaving cream. Once you have all your ingredients in your bowl, the recipe tells us to stir. Okay, it's coming together guys. This is really, really cool. This is like a fluffy slime. Um, it's not one that you could actually pick up, but it's really foamy and really soft and it's got some jiggle in it. What do you think about this one guys? Is this a fail or is this slime? Let me know in the comments below.